yourself an artist? Nope. No. Nope. Your little stick figures don't do it for you. If that's art, I can do that. I don't well, think that's really the art we're talking about. I don't think it's the art we're talking about <laughs> either, but hey, maybe... I like uh, to color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, coloring is mm -hmm. great. If you're not an artist, though, it is okay. Okay, good. This is for me, then. Uh, either way, there's a class for you. Good. This morning, I'm working Cozy Art, checking out a studio that helps people make their own art. She joins us live from Bedford this morning with more on that. I'm interested, Morgan. So am I. Because uh, I don't think uh, either of us like are artists. Morgan is already getting at it this yeah. morning. We are already, yeah, we're learning so much this morning, guys. I cannot wait to show you everything that's here at Pigeon Hill Studios in Bedford. We're here with Mary Pat. Um, you're the owner. Yes. You, so you can do all kinds of classes here, um, any skill level, and you, it's an open studio. Uh, you do a little bit of everything, and we're going to be exploring that this morning. So right now, we're going to be learning about oil painting. Mm -hmm. um, so explain some tips of, uh, of oil painting. Well, oil painting, I love it because it takes forever to dry. I, <laughs> I, when I was in college, I used acrylic oil paints, and I couldn't figure out why I hated painting so much. And I've always had the desire to paint with oil. So about eight years ago, I started painting with oils. Mm -hmm. And I love how you could just push the paint around the canvas and um, and also how long the colors last and once you mix a color on your palette how long they they last so you're able to use that color you know an hour later instead of it being hardened already right. and having to remix the color and getting it to, to the same um, you know color mix as you had before so I love oil painting for that reason. So oil painting, can you keep layering? You just yes. kind of keep going on and yeah, you were saying sometimes it takes a long time yeah. uh, and actually, to dry. Yeah, and actually when you work with oils, um, you know, sometimes you have to set it aside for a week or two before wow. it's dry, which you, you have to be patient and it can get a little muddy in some areas and that's when you stop and walk away or work on a different part of the canvas. But um, you can create some really interesting layers and um, uh, texture underneath as well. Yeah. When you use oils. Okay. Well, let's let's add some more elements to this. Okay. And um, go ahead and walk me through. Okay. Well, you have a paintbrush in your hand, so I yes. would say grab any color you want on the palette. Really? Okay. Okay. So that would be I would consider that kind of a highlight color. Okay. So Where go would ahead. You add this? I would just add it anywhere like around the the outer areas. Okay. Very good. And whenever you use light, it brings it forward because all we're doing is creating an illusion of shape on the canvas. Okay. So when you use dark, it pushes things back. You might want to get a little bit more paint on your brush. Don't be afraid to have some paint on your okay. brush. Now explain some of the classes that you offer here or workshops. Okay, that well, people can. typically once a month I, I offer workshops and um, it, it typically involves clay because people like to use uh, yes. or experience clay. And clay is, um, there are so many different techniques techniques that you can use, graffito or little pinch pots or throwing on the wheel or hand-built tiles or things like that. So I have a variety of workshops planned for okay. um, this year. And um, on Tuesday evenings, which is tonight, um, winter hours are earlier from 4.30 to 7. We have open studios. So if you're an experienced artist and you want to come and cut out some time for yourself, you come here on Tuesdays for 10 bucks. You bring all your own materials and you get um, support from peers that are here, a little bit of guidance. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and we can just encourage and support you, give you a little bit of direction if you're stuck. And I also do painting classes. I typically start, this is kind of, this right behind here is a little example okay. of how I start. You know, in order to be a good painter, people just want to come in and learn to paint. But in order to be a good painter, you have to know how to draw where your lights yes. are, where your darks are. So I have them start with a simple shape, which is an apple. Everyone knows what an apple mm -hmm. likes, looks like, and you, and you can't really mess it up too yeah. much. So you work your, if the fundamentals get those down, and you work your way up, and you can really create yes. some beautiful pieces. Well, Mary Pat, thank you so much oh, for welcome. having us out this morning. Oh, uh, we're going to have a really fun morning ahead. Um, I will show you guys the finished product here, and uh, you guys can let me know what you think. This is Casey Kansas Fabio. Oh, my gosh. Casey oh, Kansas Fabio. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Casey. <laughs> You know what? I think it looks. <laughs> I think it looks just like you. Why can't it just be Fabio? <laughs> no, be, it's, be. it's Casey Kansas Fabio. 
Wow. Mm. Isn't that so nice Look of Morgan to, to do that? Okay. Yeah, there she goes. I was waiting for that she part where she goes, oh, look at the hair. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan. Appreciate you. That's Looking good. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should grow your hair like that. <laughs> Maybe we should check in with Christy. It's been a while since I've seen Christy. Well, so. I, I think we have one more story we? before we check in with do Christy. We have to, do we have to? <laughs> we just take, get, maybe send it to Christy? I or? don't know. That's, no. that's up to the control room. All right, room. let's talk about the claysburg Kimmel School District. They're hosting a jazz and art night next week. This is, uh, this is good stuff, though. Yeah, it certainly is.